Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. I am Muhammad Imran Saeed and in this lecture we were studying the interaction and we have seen the different interaction styles and today we are going to study the point and click interface. In fact, these are the interfaces that behave just like the web. In the web we just click and it performs some actions it opens another page or something so what it says it says it is single click works right so here when we click so it just behaves like the web so it is very simple and in past we used to develop the uh, point and click interfaces but normally it had a s different uh, interaction style so it was used in the previous applications now we are more towards the touch screen so it, it it behaves like this this one but still it is not simply the just web like right so here we have single click works one simple click executes the action so we do not need to double click or do something else with that option we just single click that option and it performs it acts right so if i just give you an example of some software that has some city names and the maps inside it so when I click the city name it will show you the map or the details so it just behaves like the hypertext so it is another style to interact with the system and provide the ease to the user there are 3d interfaces so then a time came when we had the 3d impact on the screens so we try we use lot of those effects to make our interfaces uh, more uh, compelling and more attractive so now it says that we have the buttons or other all controls and those are designed to give impression of 3d for example if i am using some button then it must give me an impression of pressed or unpressed so it lay it says it looks pressed when clicked and raised when not clicked so it gives an gives us an example that in our interfaces in order to more make them more attractive we can use the 3d interfaces we can use the buttons the combos the controls the other options so we can use those 3d options so that they may give us a feeling of 3d right so it gives us an example of 3d workspace it says that in which the items look like that these they, those are cute there is one item in front of us then there is another item behind that item then there is another item behind the two items so it by giving the concept of small and big size of the items and then foreground and background is gives us the the feeling of 3d it is not 3d it is 2d but it gives us the feeling of 3d that the things are away and far away from us so this is something that we can see in the book at 3.13 now we come to an important uh, interaction style that is known as WIMP interface by WIMP we mean that windows icons menus and pointers and very rarely we use the term windows icons mice and pull down menus but mostly it is windows icon menus and pointers and nowadays it is the default styles for majority of interactive computer system so when we are using the computers we have windows we have icons we have mouse we have pointers right and we have menus so now we have this interface or this style that is being used in different applications depth desktop machines windows as you all know that the area of the screen that behaves as if they were independent terminal so if in windows i open a window and i try to copy some of my files in that window then i can open another window in which i can start downloading something and then i can open a third window and then i can check my email so all these three windows are behaving like these are three independent terminals that are working simultaneously so this was the concept of windows and it behave like the independent terminals the window can contain the text or the graphics we have seen that there can be icons there can be labels everything 
and the windows can be moved or resized, minimized, maximized, resized and then windows can overlap if I have opened three, four, five windows they can overlap and obscure each other, they can hide each other or can be laid out next to one another then we can tile them so that each window comes beside the other and we can see all three or four open windows simultaneously then the window has the scroll bars and it allows the user to move the contents of the window up and down or from side to side in left to right and right to left right then window has a title bar describes the name of the window so all of you would have seen the windows because we are using this for years and it is very easy now what are the icons small picture or image used to represent some object in the interface so if I have a window and I show small graphical items those would be the icons and in fact those will represent some object right so when I click my computer there, there back on the back end there is a com command that opens all the resources of my computer for me in a window right so I can click icon and then that icon works for me windows can be closed down to this small representation when we open a window when we just close it down it goes to the icon it seems like it goes to the icon and it is known as iconifying allowing many windows to be accessible right and then reminder or cue icon gives us the reminder or hint what that scissor can do for me what can that floppy do for me right so that means in fact in the icons are the reminders are the cues are the hints for me to memorize or to just recall not the memorize just to recall that what will that icon do so it says icons can be many and various highly stylized or realistic representation so it says there can be many types of icons but remember one thing for your application try to use those icons that are understandable for every user for example if, if you say that sir I do not want to use a scissor for the cut and I ask you then what you are going to use sir for example for example for example a knife no you cannot use a knife because be because we have got a very good understanding about the scissor that this this icon or this image wherever it is placed is used to cut the content and put it into the memory so there is something that we say that do not use any other icon try to use the scissor it can be stylized you, you may use some icon very beautiful scissor but it must show the scissor to cut right floppy to save so that it will provide the ease to the user to understand the purpose of that particular icon then the pointers important component since Vim style relies on pointing you know that whenever we will have to click we take the uh, cursor through the mouse to that particular icon or click it or right click it or double click it whatever whatever so in order to select anything from the icon we need the pointer so this is the pointer that is moving around the pointers right so we need the pointers usually achieved with the mouse so we use the mouse to use this cursor and then we also can use the these pointers with the help of joysticks trackballs cursor keys or keyboard shortcuts are also used right so we can use these options with the help of joystick trackball cursor keys so we can move and we can click so there are wide variety of pointers and the important thing is hotspot hotspot means location to which they point that means if we if, if this is the pointer and now here it is going to click inside the C so in fact this is the location where my cursor is pointing so this is known as hotspot so my if I make a button so I must make sure that which area will be clickable so that my cursor will go there and it will click so I must be able to understand that in which area I will have to click so that the hotspot must be there then again windows icon pointers and then menus so here we have different menus it says whenever we have different options we can place those option under the menu so 
choice of operations or services that can be performed offered on the screen we can show all these options all these choices onto the screen required option selected with pointer so either we click or we have a shortcut so we can use any option to select the that option of a menu so now it says what can be the problem with the menus menus can take up a lot of screen space so what happens it says do not show all the screens open so solution is use pull down menus pop up menus so now it is giving us different types of menus so depending upon our requirement our space available we can use any of those particular uh, menus the first one is pull down menu in fact pull down menu you have used in, in, in Microsoft Word and Excel whenever we take the cursor to the menu it never drops down we will have to click and when I click the menu gets open so that means pull down menus are dragged down from a single click at the top of the screen or the title a, sing, a single click on the title so when I click on the title file it opens the file menu when I click on the edit it opens so in order to open the pull down menus there is a we, we need to click on the option name then comes the pop up menu it appears when a particular region of the screen may be designated by an icon is clicked on so now check there are icons on desktop when you right click on any menu uh, sorry any icon you get a pop up menu that pops up that appears for example cut copy paste properties whatever so but in fact what kind of uh, uh, menu is this this is a menu that is required with different icons so in order to uh, save the space we just put them in the pop-up menu so whenever a user needs those he right clicks or he applies some option that is defined for it so normally we use the right click so when I right click that icon it shows me different options in the pop-up menu then there are pin up menus look there can be an ob situation when I click some menu it drops down it opens by clicking drag down right but when I click accidentally outside it just wraps up the menu so this can be a hurdle for me if I have some issue if my environment is different where there are jerks or something so I cannot click properly so there can be an issue so what we do we use the pinup menu when I click it opens the menu but then unless there is an option wrap for example fold wrap or whatever when I click it closes down that option that that menu but if I click outside it will not close that menu so these are known as pinup menus that has been pinned to that particular region so they stay on the screen until explicitly requested to go away so this is something important that until I do not click that wrap that go back that close menu it will not go back so the options will be available to me uh, till the time I click wrap right next one is the fall down menu fall down, fall down menu is something it is similar to the pull down but the bar does not have to be explicitly selected clicked that means if I take the mouse in the in the in the um, dra drag down menu we were supposed to click to open the menu but now in this case the fall down menu as soon as I take the mouse on the on that title I hover the mouse that hovering process in fact drops that down so that menu opens as soon as the cursor goes on the top of that menu title so fall down is similar to the pull down but the bar does not have to be explicitly selected we need not to click we just take the cursor and it opens next one is the cascading menu one menu selection opens another menu adjacent to it and so on for example if I open a menu file and I click some option inside it and it opens another menu beside it this is known as cascading menu you would have seen in word and excel that there are many uh, menus that have further options so when we open a menu 
and we click it down and we take the cursor on some option it opens automatically a menu beside it so this beside menu is known as cascading menu one menu selections opens another menu adjacent to it and so on so there can be two three four uh, cascading menus for you next one is the pie menu menu options arranged in a circle easier to select items so we have a circle and then we have the division of that circle that makes the pies and every pie has some option written on it you would have seen in the uh, mp4 players or vcd players in your cars there have a circular knob and has four or five options in it right so this is the best example similarly in the entertainment softwares where we do not need to type something we do not need the place or space so we can use the uh, pie menus and there we can provide the options in the student softwares we also provide the software for the kg students and the uh, small students who are just listing the rhymes and the understanding one two three and abc so they have very few options to deal with and there we can use the pie menu so menu options arrange in a circle easier to select item why because larger target area we have big men pies we have big pie areas where we can click and quicker why quicker because same distance to any option if i have a circle from the central point every option is at an equal distance so this is something for the pie menus in the next class we will talk about the keyboard or i can add it over here because it is related in the next class, we will study about the keyboard accelerator, the shortcut keys. It is very easy, but we will study in the next class. Thank you very much for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.